There's outrage following a massive increase in the number of hairy-nosed wombats being culled. Conservationists say the vulnerable species is already diminishing and government-issued destruction permits are putting them further at risk. At seven months old, Noah is your usual curious baby wombat. He was rescued six weeks ago from a man who was pub hopping around Adelaide trying to sell him. He was very shaken, he was absolutely starving, just for a little baby that should really still be in a pouch. It was a pretty traumatic experience for him. Noah is just one of three joeys and 30 adult wombats under the care of the Wombats Awareness Organisation. Conservationists say there's been a rise in the number of orphaned baby marsupials, partly due to a 509% increase in destruction permits issued, allowing the species to be culled. It's pretty simple really, if we don't look after them we're not going to have them. So we either choose to do something now, um, otherwise it's going to be too late. Prolonged droughts and recent fires have already diminished numbers. Well I want to know why we're issuing destruction permits when we also know there's wombats being diseased, wombats starving. While Noah's rehabilitation continues, there are fears for the future of the state's faunal emblem. The organisation treats 1,800 animals a year, but it relies heavily on public donations to continue its work in rescuing and rehabilitating these marsupials. The government says it's reduced the number of destruction permits by 13%. Catherine Kennedy, Nine News.